Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and this is Tim the Trailman and today I've got a special installation video for you. A company called Hoytasource reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in doing an installation video on their seat covers. And after checking them out and researching the product, I said yes. If you have a brand new car and you wanna make those seats last a long time, or if you've got a car that's aging and maybe the upholstery is wearing out a little bit, then I'd definitely recommend seat covers for you. It is a less expensive option than fully reupholstering your seat. It's gonna make the car look good. You can add a personal touch to it with colors and materials, and then you can find things that are spill resistant or something soft like a cashmere or things like that. So looking into Hoyta Source, they make one that is spill resistant, kind of water resistant. It looks to be kind of a neoprene material. And for the price point around $250, it's gonna come in right around a rough country seat cover as well, right around $200. So they're gonna be cheaper than Cover King and they're gonna be cheaper than Cat Skin. So this is gonna be a great product for you in having your seats either stay looking brand new and maintained or just going ahead and covering up something that has a little bit of wear and making your car look brand new. Okay, before we get into the installation video and checking out the product, a pro tip, be sure to vacuum your seats, whether soft text or cloth, before you put the seat covers on. If they're dirty, grimy, or anything like that, and you put the seat cover on it, all you're gonna do is grind all that into the cloth or soft text, and then your seats are actually gonna look worse when you go to take the seat covers off months or years down the road. I do recommend servicing your seats, taking the covers off every once in a while and cleaning and treating the seat covers or at least inspecting the seats. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the Hoyta Source seat covers. And the cool thing about these is checking them out. The neoprene is soft and the quality is really good. And going through the instructions, which are provided in the bag they ship them in, is it's a different style of connection. So they come with these pucks and a couple hooks. So they are custom fit or designed for the fifth gen 4Runner. And I went ahead and got the quilted design with the blue inlay. You can get the black or red inlay as well. The backrest is separate from the seat bottom, which is something that I do appreciate versus a one piece thing. And the other thing that is unique with the hockey puck is there's just not a bunch of cords or strings trying to run underneath the seat, trying to wrap it around or strap it. So I went ahead and installed the driver's seat off camera. I'm gonna show you how to do the passenger seat now and show you what ease it is of getting this stuff connected. So let me show you that and how to do it. Okay, so for the seat bottom base, the back is gonna take these hockey pucks and you're gonna slide them into the elastic like so. There's a little slit right there. And you slide that in. I don't know if you can see that on camera. This is gonna slide underneath the back part of the seat. Okay, so this is gonna be the seat base. Those are gonna slide underneath the seat. And then for the front, they send these hooks, you want to, for the front of the bottom, you want to take these hooks, open them up a little bit, slide that onto the elastic, just co close that up, and then that's gonna hook to the front underneath the seat there. You're gonna do the same for the other elastic cord, like so. So now let's hop into the Forerunner and put this on the bottom of the seat. All right, so we're inside the Forerunner, and like I said, the ease of this is you're just literally going to slide these hockey pucks like this into the bottom of the seat like that. The sides don't have anything to hook onto and it's not needed. And then for the front, you're just gonna take a flashlight and on your car, it's gonna be different for every vehicle. You're just gonna find a spot to make and hook those hooks to. Let me show you for the side right here. There's no straps, but what I did is to make it look really good, is I fold this in half and then tucked it in. And that looks pretty good. Other styles have straps and things like that. Most seat covers that I've seen don't have a great fit, whether they're universal or custom for the seat. It's just hard to design something for right there. We're at the back of the passenger seat and all you have to do is just pull those in. You just pull these hockey pucks through and put those right there. And when we put the top, the other three will go through right there. So nice and flush. That's flush, flush along the front. And then you got a little excess right here, but depending on your vehicle, I'm probably gonna leave that out. So now we've got that tucked in, that hangs out a little bit. Every seat cover I had does that. And then the front is nice. So that's the bottom. Let's check out how to do the top. Okay, for the top, you're gonna remove the headrest first. Once you take the headrest off, it's super simple. This slides on much easier than other brands, which I appreciate the idea being slides over take the strap fold that in there like that as snug as you'd like 
and then that is going to sit on there nice and clean like that. Others might have other straps or Velcro, but this ain't going nowhere. It's just gonna sit right there. So let's put on the backrest now. Okay, so for the backrest, there is a zipper on the outside seat. Unzip that. You're gonna put on your three hockey pucks, just like we did for the base of the seat. Okay, so you've got your three hockey pucks or pucks slid on there. The zipper's unzipped. And then all you need to do is take and slide the seat cover over the top portion of the seat. That is gonna slide nicely there. Then take the pucks, slide them through the center part of the seat there. And let me show you what that will look like. So we've got the zipper zipped, and then underneath, there's those pucks that we slid through. So this is nice and flush. You're gonna have your holes up here for the headrest. So let's go ahead and pop that on there. Okay, headrest, top, and this is what the seat's gonna look like finished. The fit is fantastic. I really like it. That's the driver's seat over there already done. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do the front seat. That was the passenger seat. Do the driver's seat the same way. Now let's move to the back. Okay, so for the back seats, the upright parts, you're gonna be using the pucks, and then for the bases, they actually just have some Velcro straps. They're gonna go underneath of it, and the seats are split 60-40, and each part is separate. The base of the passenger side is all one piece because that's the way that bench is. We'll look at that in a second. And then even for the center fold-down armrest, that has its own piece. So I'm gonna put these on and then show you how to put the covers on in the back row. Okay, so it's actually pretty hard to get a camera in the back here to film this while I was doing it. So I've got it all finished up, and let me show you what you need to be doing. So the headrest, they come off with the push of the button, and then there is gonna be a Velcro strap that goes underneath and attaches that. So that's pretty simple, straightforward. Here, you're gonna pull the seat up, and then both bases, they're held on by Velcro all the way around. So all you need to do is pull the Velcro over, and you can see here for this side as well, the base is held on by a Velcro, which is pretty simple all the way around. And then for these, you're gonna tuck those underneath. I couldn't get mine to stay for the video. I'm gonna work on that a little bit and also reach out to Hoyta Source. As a whole, they're gonna stay in place because the seat is going to be down. So I love the finish of them. The headrests are nice. And for the passenger side, because this is attached to this, you know, you can fold this down like so. What they've done is really smart. This piece here, it unzips completely from the bottom and then it goes underneath the seat belt from the front and then you re-zip that and then this will reattach. So in case you were wondering about that, the back part of the middle is not covered, no big deal to me, but that's how the back looks. It looks super great, flush, and will even give you that protection on the back of the seats if you're loading things here in the back. Okay, so that wraps up the installation of the Hoytasource seat covers. Thank you, Hoytasource, for sending me the seat covers. I love the fit and finish of them. I look forward to seeing how they hold up to spills or stains, and overall I'm not that messy in my vehicles to begin with. And as a bonus, what I didn't realize is there's actually a center console armrest cover, which I love because that part will wear out. I've seen people's older forerunners be worn out just from the arm and the oils there. So thank you Hoytasource for thinking of that as well. Tell me your thoughts on the product installation and the process and the quality of it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.